it's about this story. And then once you research, it's a true story that in reality, as Washington crossed the Delaware, he had left his horses on the other side and had had asked or either this young boy had volunteered, little young slave boy, volunteered to hold the horses until he came back. By the time Washington got back, the little boy had, was still holding these horses straps and had froze to death. This is really a representation of that little boy holding the straps of those horses. Now, and Washington was so impressed that by the time he got back to Virginia, because remember Washington lived both down at Mount Vernon as well as he stayed up here in Philadelphia. So by the time he got back to Virginia, he, you know, wrote something up and you know he just wrote something to designate how impressed he was about this little young boy who had lost his life. So from there came that statue of the lawn jockey. Now the slaves then decided to use the statue because you would then start seeing these statues even back during that time starting it to appear. So the slaves actually used the statue as well to give um, underground railroad signals. If it had a green ribbon tied to the arms of the statue, that would indicate safety. A red, rim, red ribbon said, keep going, you know, this is not a safe place, you know. So there was like all kinds of things that we had to use, you know, during slavery on the underground railroad.